Hey guys, Keith here. Um, with uh, New Year's and even Christmas Day coming up soon, I thought I would share with people how to actually put text onto a matrix um, to display a countdown to say New Year's Eve. Um, so the first thing of course that you have to do is you have to have a matrix defined um, which describes the element that you're actually drawing on. Um, this one here, because I'm actually using a virtual matrix so you can see it on the screen, is described the way you would describe a virtual matrix it's a horizontal 16 strings each one's 50 long it's always one strand per string and it's always top left for a virtual matrix and this is how you would describe your matrix if you're putting it onto a video projector or something like that but you know if you're doing this on your own matrix and it was defined somewhat differently then obviously you would describe the way you'd actually wired your matrix up and just for completeness Here's the virtual matrix, which is uh, exactly the same, 50 wide, 16 high. Uh, topmost means it just appears on top of all my other windows. There's no rotation or anything. Um, and the size and location just govern whereabouts on the screen it fits. Um, and it's at start channel one, because that's all I've got in this particular sequence. Now I've also produced a very simple butterfly sequence, which I'm gonna use um, to color the text. So, so here's a sequence. Um, it has two steps. So it's an advanced sequence. You'd have to go into advanced mode to edit this. Um, at the base level, it has a butterfly. It's just a simple butterfly sequence. It goes for 30 seconds um, and just fills the matrix with a butterfly effect. And I've set this at priority one because this is the lowest layer, um, which I'm then gonna reveal with the text. And so the priority order needs to be one. If this priority order was higher than the countdown, then the butterfly would basically overwrite the countdown and we wouldn't be able to see anything. So the countdown then of course has a priority. In this case it has two, but it could be any number as long as it's greater than one. Um, I've given it a name called Countdown. To be honest, it's just a name, it's not important. The matrix is the name of the matrix which we described um, in the matrix setup. And I'm setting this up as a countdown. And in this case, I'm counting down to a particular date, uh, 2018, January the 1st um, at midnight. And then I need to put in a format. Now, the formats are all in this pop-up. And when you're doing a countdown to a date, you can see here that you need this CDD days. So at the moment it's gonna display days, hours, minutes and seconds, but let's get rid of the days. Let's pretend we just, oh, we're only gonna run it on New Year's Eve, so we don't really need the days. We're just gonna say hours, minutes and seconds. Uh, you can put a font in this case. Look, I've defined it as green, but it doesn't really matter because I'm actually gonna use this mask out format. So as long as it's not black, it will work. Um, because my matrix is pretty small, I've used the Arial Narrow um, and Size 8 because uh, that's the only way it'll fit onto the, the matrix. Um, not moving it around or anything. Um, I'm using it as a mask. So what that means, mask out if black means wherever after writing the text it's black, it's going to mask out whatever is underneath it. And where it's green, it's going to allow the colour through from the butterfly. And we're not gonna set anything else other than that priority. So if we click OK here and we come over and we play it, you'll see it pop up. So here's our virtual matrix, which has been described. You can see our countdown. Uh, the time here is currently 16. Uh, 55 so not surprisingly it's seven hours and four minutes from midnight um, of course it's also several days but because we're not displaying that it's just a countdown to the next midnight um, and the butterfly effect renders in the background while the text displays so a very very simple way now this you don't have to put a butterfly behind it that what's behind it could be your regular show and you could just mask out your regular show or overwrite it with a white um, you could do a blend where it's averaged or whatever so that it doesn't hide um, the rest of your show, but just overlays it with a text overlay um, showing you uh, how long to midnight on New Year's Eve. So all very easy to do and uh, hopefully that helps you. Obviously, if you were doing Sleeps to Christmas, it would be a little different. So let's quickly set up Sleeps to Christmas. Um, to do that, we'll go back into our display here. We'll go to our count time. Obviously the date's a little bit different. I'm now interested in the 25th of December. 
at midnight. Um, and here, of course, I'm going to want days. I think that'll work out correctly. Um, and we can add in, you know, sleeps if we want. We click OK and we play that again. And now it's telling me that it's six sleeps to Christmas. Is that right? It's December 18th, 18th, 19th, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24, maybe that's a little bit short, so we might need to play with the date. Um, but we can we can do that. At the end of the day, no one sees that, so I can come in here and if I need to, I can say 26th. So I include the, the sleep leading into Christmas and now it says seven sleeps. Um, so yeah, easy ways to do this. You obviously can't do this in XLights itself. The problem with doing it in XLights is when you create the FSCQ file, it sets the, the number in, um, into the FSCQ file and it won't change from day to day. Whereas with the scheduler, it will obviously overwrite this and it will always be up to date based on the clock on your PC. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to do a variety of countdowns for New Year's and for Christmas and uh, best of the season, guys.